Your TV is at the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre as the Brock University Wind Ensemble rehearses for their upcoming concert, a musical montage. One of the main pieces is called Ghost Train, which is a contemporary piece. And we also have uh, Away Day, um, which is a jazzy style uh, piece. And, and we also have a couple of pieces that will put the, uh, the audience in a Christmas mode. The Nutcracker Suite by Tchaikovsky and uh, the Frozen Arrangement. Now, speaking of Frozen, I know this uh, little girl that's with you is your grandchild and she's going to be singing something from Frozen. So she's been, uh, she's been uh, working on, on those two songs uh, for at least three or four months now. I and mean, she's very excited to be able to perform with the wind ensemble. Now, Chloe, what song from Frozen will you be singing? Let it go. Let it go. How are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah. And then what else, Chloe? There's another one. Do you want to go to Snowman? What makes up the wind ensemble? There's a number of different uh, uh, people from different areas of the community. Uh, we have Brock students, both music majors and non-music majors. Uh, we have a, a number of high school students. And we also have community members from uh, the Niagara region and also as far as Hamilton as well. Uh, so a, a very broad spectrum of people all together. Um, and uh, we're, we're thrilled to have all of these people. It's part of our outreach as in the music department and the Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts to reach out into the community. So we, we, we just love it that they're, they're all involved in our wind ensemble. Now, Aidan, you're in high school. What's it like for you to be playing with the, all these wonderful musicians? It's actually really exciting because I was nervous when I first came here as everybody's at, you know, a pretty high level. They're, you know, university students or they're very well experienced members of the community but coming here I was kind of worried I wouldn't fit in but to my surprise and delight like I fit in really well and I've learned so much from them so it's been amazing. And what songs will you be playing on the flute? Um, one of my favorites actually is uh, The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky and I'm a really big Tchaikovsky fan so when I saw that in the repertoire I was really excited and we just have everything so it's really exciting I love it. Now, John, you're from Buffalo. What inspired you to come and join in on this concert? Well, I have two friends, uh, Ivan and Rhonda, who I play with in the Fort Erie Legion Band. I've been playing with the Fort Erie Legion Band since about 1978. I'm one of the, probably one of the oldest uh, musicians in the Brock uh, Wind Ensemble. And I was invited uh, because I'm a community member. They are short an oboe player, and I'm I play oboe and English horn. And so I was invited to share my gifts with uh, these uh, talented students, and for me to uh, listen to them as well. So it's a, it's a great great group. I'm very excited. Uh, wind Ensemble. I've been in Wind Ensemble for four years, and it's such a great experience. You get to work with so many great musicians. Great conductor, um, the pieces are so challenging and it's just such a rewarding experience. And Christine, why should people come to this concert? People should come to this concert because, again, it's such a great experience. It's just, it shows how much work we've done over the semester, shows how passionate we are about music, and again, it's a great it's a great way to show how the community, students, high school students, we all get to come together and we just get to, en to enjoy the music. A musical montage will be held on December 5th at 7.30 in the Partridge Concert Hall. Tickets can be purchased online, by phone, or at the door. In St. Catharines, I'm Brenda Schultz reporting for The Source.